Today we will be using both Photoshop and Illustrator in conjunction together. I have found that it works the best when you kind of pair the two together. So step one, you're going to create your artboard in Illustrator. We're gonna have it at 1500 by 1500 in RGB at 150 PPI, which happens to be the default PPI for Illustrator. Step two, you're going to create your object. Whatever you want to texturize, that could be something you've already made. Um, for this video, I'm gonna create a simple C with a registered mark and the year 2020. It's gonna be great. I'd like to take this section of the video to explain that you can do this effect solely in Photoshop and Illustrator, but I don't think it's gonna look as good as if you had used both of them together. Step three, open up Photoshop, create the exact same sized artboard in Photoshop. Resolution wise, 120 is gonna be okay. Copy and paste your object from Illustrator into Photoshop, you got it, nice. Now what you need to do, you need to rasterize it. Decimate your art with the rasterization. Go ahead and duplicate your art, Command J, and add a blur, a Gaussian blur, and I think I have it at six. And after you've done that, on that exact same layer, go over to Noise, Add Noise, do that at 40, or around 40, whatever you want. The next step is optional. Um, I play with the blend modes all the time because they're the best thing ever in Photoshop. So I, I think I did a color burn blend mode. So you can apply a color burn. It just kind of hardens it up a little bit and makes it less soft. <laughs> Once you have all those layers together, you're gonna to go ahead and click all of your layers and drag it back into your Illustrator artboard. You might have to resize it just a little bit, but after that, hit the image trace button. And if your panel doesn't pop up, just hit the little, hit the menu option next to it. Play around with the threshold and paths option. Um, that combined with noise at the very bottom is gonna be your best bet. That'll give you the most flexibility corners doesn't matter too much and then I always ignore white um, so you're not dealing with that extra funky white vector yeah that's really it 